Ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Joe with another video. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great and wonderful day. I hope you're having a blessed day today. And today we are doing another reaction. Um, we are reaction. We are doing a reaction to a NBA video. We're doing another sports video, and this video is called most embarrassing moments in NBA history. Um, before we get, but before we get into the video, I ask that you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below, and let me know. And um, also share this video to everybody, and let me know what other videos you want me to react to, or you know, uh, you know, let me know what other things you want me to do on this channel. And uh, let's get into the video. From pooping your pants mid NBA game oh! to accidentally making out with another dude, these are the most embarrassing moments in NBA. Oh, I know that one. I know that one. One of the 2008. NBA I couldn't really finals. remember any Lakers versus Celtics. I couldn't Kobe really remember any, you know, uh, embarrassing moments, but I remember that LeBron one a couple of years ago. Greatness, but what they got instead is one of the NBA's most embarrassing moments. During the third Ooh. quarter, with 6.7 okay. left on the clock, Kobe. Kobe dribbled around a screen and drove to the rim for a floater. But during the okay. shot, Paul Pierce randomly dropped to the ground, holding his knee. It looked like he just suffered a horrific injury. Oh, I okay. Mean, he couldn't even stand up on his own. So three guys picked him up and carried him to a wheelchair. But on their way out of the game, there was a kid sitting courtside that saw the real reason Paul was escorted out. And he knew it was no injury. Just look at his reaction. He smelled lies in the air. Paul was escorted the rest of the way to the locker room. Oh, did he boo boo? Like for the night. Only thing was, two minutes and 30 seconds later, a white flash came running out of the tunnel. It was Pierce. He's back. And when he stepped on that floor, oh, the Lord. went crazy. And Pierce came in with a spark, hitting clutch shots to seal the deal. And Boston won 98 to 88. But the biggest question was, what happened to Pierce? Like, how did he recover so fast? Was it all a publicity stunt? Well, it turns out that Pierce was so embarrassed about what happened, it took him 11 years to- Jesus. To oh, he boo-booed. Oh, he really did boo-boo on himself. He boo-booed himself. He got that shitty booty. Oh, wow. Did you need a wheelchair to get to the bathroom? It was that bad. Uh, something went down. I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you had a shitty booty today. You had a shitty booty. Himself in the middle of a game. Damn. When he came back to the game. He wiped his covered hand Ugh. on his teammate. Ugh. Disrespectful. I mean, you don't know if he washed his hands or not. You don't know. Toilet paper, new clothes, moist towelettes. Paul, you had everything you needed, and you used this man's shirt. Shame on you. Honestly, wow. Sick of this man. I don't wow. want to talk about him anymore. Jesus. The only good thing I can say about him is he didn't make me watch a dude makeout session. Yeah. A while back, Excuse two me? dudes kissed each other during an NBA game. That's a whole new level of embarrassing. Unless it was intentional? See, during the 2017 I mean, finals, and again, there might be some gay people in the NBA. Years, we don't know. Tension was at an all time high. Golden State was up three to one, and they were looking to close out the series in game five. But the Cavs were not trying to go home without a fight, literally. And with three minutes left in the second quarter, Cleveland Bank. was down. Oh, 15. I thought he was going to miss. Trying to close the gap, Kyrie drove to the hoop for a layup. But he missed badly. Oh, wow. That's when him and David West got tangled up for the rebound. But thankfully, Damn. everyone acted like reasonable adults. They got over it and lived happily ever after. Guys, come on. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that's never how it ends. <laughs> went down. Because what actually wow. happened is Tristan Thompson rushed over and tried to handle it himself, pushing West right in front of the refs. And that's when it happened. Oh Jesus, no! Oh no! Must have been love at first sight as David went in to seal the deal. Oh Lord! Oh no! Oh! Ugh! Oh! Oh no! Oh! 
Oh! He went mouth to mouth with that man! Oh no! He went. Okay. Tristan was trying to tell us something. He was trying to tell us that. He went he mouth to like mouth. Subscribe. Or Tristan finna pull up and kiss you. Yeah, that's right. On the lips. And I know you can't risk that. So what are you doing? Well, I'm sorry. Anyways, subscribe to his channel. I was hating a little bit. And subscribe to the man's that. channel. Millions of people saw their first kiss on live TV. Jesus. They're a little too close. close for comfort. Brian, he's no stranger to embarrassing moments. Back oh. In 2019, the Lakers went up against the Jazz. And LeBron did something he hadn't done in a while. He wore a signature headband. Only difference was, that night, something was off about his hair. See, LeBron had allegedly oh. had hair surgery and plugs put in that offseason. But his barber Ooh, wow. insisted that it wasn't true, saying, There's no dye, no additives, no preservatives. Everyone thinks he's dyeing his hair using temporary Ooh. hair colorings. Oh, it has so to do something with his hair? And I mean, hey, it's his barber. We gotta trust him, right? Well... During the matchup, LeBron was playing uh -oh. well, getting to the uh -oh. ground, hitting his jump shots. Oh, Jesus. He he playing amazing. For the worst. With five minutes left in the fourth quarter, Troy Daniels steps up to the free throw line. And as LeBron walked toward the bench, Anthony Davis tried to warn him, but it was too late. Now, I know it might have been hard. Oh, your to hair. Tell he said, he said the hair. at a different angle gave us a closer look. Ooh. was f***ed up and the worst part was your hairline is going back you could really see his hair peeling oh it's like a tootsie roll you just peel it back hey yo hey man Ugh. what the hell's going on with your head this oh wow that's 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 cost Grand. Oh man, I mean yeah, that's not that's that's, that's nothing to to LeBron. Relentlessly on Twitter, and then he had no choice but to give up the headband forever. It's Good lord! More embarrassing than your hair malfunctioning mid-game. Jesus! Michael Beasley did just that during a game between the Lakers and the Thunder. LeBron was injured, so LA was relying on Lonzo, Kuzma, Ingram, and the one and only Michael Beasley. During the first quarter, the Thunder absolutely lit the Lakers up. Mm. Dunks, okay. oops, threes. OKC was bodying LA. And as their shooting streak obviously, they went that up team was to seventeen with three. Not that good, but okay. So it was time for LA to bring out Even though they won a championship. The GOAT himself, Michael Beasley. Coach Walton called his name, and Michael checked in. Oh no. Hey, what happened? No, your shorts? This happened. Oh, look. Oh, God. You shorts, fool. I don't know. He must. Yeah, you, got, you had to be high. You had to be smoking that banyan. Smoking that big, 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 big banyan. Dude, I've seen that look before. Yep. He's high. Honestly, he's lucky, though. Or intoxicated or something. Because how, how, how you forget to... The Lakers transfer the your black shorts to the the uniform the shirts. How you forget? Okay. To feel embarrassed or even All right. It happened. But Beasley isn't the only one who got a little too stoned before a game. J.R. Smith's high ass caused one of the most embarrassing moments of his life. So oh man. Is, I mean. It was game one. I mean, we all NBA know finals. what he happened. Halves, I don't even think we need to. Uh, uh, I don't think we need to. Luckily for Cleveland, figure out what happened. This man, Jr. One of the best games. This man, J. Of his career. This man, Jr. I forget about the story. I know what the story is. It's it's literally a worldwide meme. Literally, LeBron doing this. Is a worldwide meme, bro. So, it looked so like Cleveland could pull off but I forgot about the story. Everything got crazy in the final moments. It was 107 to 106. Yeah, I knew it was close. Was eight seconds left on the clock. Mm -hmm. Ron had the ball in his hands, and he was ready to make the game. Oh play. yeah, but I don't know. I think he forgot that. Um, I think he forgot what the time was, which is crazy because you, you you're in the NBA Finals final seconds in the fourth quarter and 
you 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 forget the time ha, 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 ha. you can't look up on the um what's it called the uh the scoreboard you, you can't just okay okay that's eight seconds the score is blah 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 all right let's go you could you couldn't just look up the scoreboard or something or I don't know. He must have been high. There, George Hill was fouled. He must have been high. Free throw line. The Cavs were only down one, so make them both, and you win the game. Easy enough, right? George sunk the first to tie it up. Yeah, he missed one. He made one and missed one. Shot to win it all. He lined up for the second free throw. Then, this happened. He missed. Rebound goes to the Cavs. J.R. Smith. Brings it back out. Throws it a hill. Hill shot blocked. Yeah, where the hell was he going? Overtime. JR, bro. JR Smith thought they had the lead. He no. didn't know the score. I think exactly. That's a bad mistake by JR Smith. That's a irreversible mistake by JR Smith. And LeBron James is wide open on the, at the top when he gets the rebound. Watch James. Damn. Now one of the timeout. But too late to get it. Yep, that's the meme right there. Minutes go up on the clock overtime here in game one. LeBron was like, fuck me. Get this doing? shit out of here. This is why I'm leaving. That's why I'm leaving himself, Cleveland. Or at least pass the ball to someone else who could. But it turned out. Somehow, Look at him. He's. I thought the Cavs were up. So he just oh, wow. The clock. And even though LeBron had 51 points. Jeez, he yeah. Lost in overtime. And eventually got swept four to zero. Yeah, losing the series. I mean, obviously, I can't imagine anything more embarrassing than accidentally costing your team the most important game of the season. Well, I mean, there was that one time with Kevin Durant. See, if you know Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant, you know the dude's got a Twitter problem. In 2017, I mean, yeah, he just won his first championship with the Warriors. You know what I'm saying? People have been clowning him all year for joining a super team, and eventually, KD had enough. Someone tweeted at him, man, I respect the hell out of you, but give me one legitimate reason for leaving OKC other than getting a championship. I mean, a fair argument, but when KD responded, I mean, ain't everybody trying to get a championship? That's, ain't that the ultimate goal? We're not just playing... It was just him and Russ. Here. Then he added another tweet saying, I mean, we're here. I mean, I'm, that team. See, I'm pretty sure, you know what I'm saying, the basketball players love basketball. They're not doing this, be, you know what I'm saying, because they don't love it. But, I mean, wh what you here for? Like, if you're not here f to win a championship, why are you even playing basketball? Is it for the money? You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, I think no, that's, a, if he qu that's a dumb question to me. That's a dumb question Wait to me. Wait a minute. Did I just read that right? Was KD referring to himself in the third person? Yep. It turns out KD forgot to switch to a burner account before clowning on his old team and defending himself. I mean, you know, wow. That was, that was pretty desperate, bro. I feel kind of bad for KD. The dude's worth $170 million. And he's worried about what some random text on the screen is saying about him embarrassing jesus but not as embarrassing as james harden's moment back in 2020 during a game between the rockets and the celtics boston came in red hot winning 11 of their last 13 games and with wow the prime time matchup they wanted to make a statement boston came out and dominated houston from the start but luckily westbrook and harden kept the rockets somewhat in the game the two were hitting shot after shot trying to bring houston within 10 points but as the first half came to a close, one play stood out from the rest, and oh. one fan slowed it down for us. When he tries to get up, look at his shorts. It almost looks like he has a poop stain that's going through his shorts or something. Watch. Look at that. Oh. That does not look good. What is that? He got a skid mark on his drawers, boy. I don't care what nobody say. It looks nasty. Ah, Ooh. Oh, that's, that's disgusting. I need to wash my eyes. Ah, oh, Jesus. Eesh. Now, what's even crazier, Skid Martin intentionally pooped himself. This was all part of a master plan. One fan in the stadium named Dr. Barry McCockiner figured out why Harden did this. 
tweeting, James Harden sh his pants to honor Paul Pierce, who's in attendance for tonight's game. Rarely <laughs> see superstars show respect to legends of the past like Damn. this. Damn. Awesome. Yeah, this was just another step in Harden's master plan. The first step was to grow out his ridiculous beard and transform into the superstar we know today. But surprisingly, Jesus. Harden's transformation isn't close to being the craziest in the NBA. We've seen guys start wearing dresses, get hundreds of tattoos, uh, I mean... gain ridiculous amounts of weight, and that's just the beginning. Huh, you want to hear more about that? Well, click right here. These are the craziest... Oh, man. Jesus. Damn, the two... Wow, man. All right, man. That was most embarrassing moments in nba history wow man i didn't i didn't really know the story of paul pierce and the reason why he left that uh building wow he i mean he had to take a boo-boo a poo-poo uh a, a, a she you know what i'm saying he had to take all of those things you know what i'm saying and james harden i mean he basically had a shit mark on his um little them white pants. What are white pants called? Them compression pants. Them short compression pants. I guess what it's called. I guess is what it's called. Yeah, he basically had a, a shit mark, a skid mark on them compression pants. And be honest, we we as men, boys and men, have have had you know skid marks. On our underwear, you know what I'm saying. We've all had skin marks. You know, some of them are like, you know, what I'm saying a little, 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 little thing. But you know, there's other days. You know, what I'm saying them days. You know, what I'm saying where it's like, Jesus, th this, like, did I wipe? Them? Like, did I actually wipe my ass today? You know, what I'm saying so. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some skid marks, shit marks are like little ones, but you know, there are them days where you had them shit marks where you're wondering if you even like wiped your ass that day. You know what I'm saying? Them big ass uh, uh, shit marks. Okay. But that is the video, man. I hope you had uh, a great time with this video. I hope you reacted with me to this video, man. Um, thank you for watching the video with me. Um, I ask that you like, like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this video to everybody you know, and comment down below. And, uh, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.